Out for sale now Vehicle Max of a beautiful 2010 Toyota Venza with only 45,000 miles. Completely loaded up with our factory navigation, color back of camera, panoramic moonroof, heated seats, power tailgate, leather interior, 20 inch wheels, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. It has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now for free at our website, vehiclemax.net. We're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always close on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 31,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the homepage is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Cars, no dents, no hail damage, no love bug damage, no major scratches or touches of any kind. They're still under the manufacturer's warranty for the five-year, 60,000-mile powertrain. The bumper-to-bumper -bumper warranty, which is 336, has been exceeded by miles. Car's in great condition, loaded up also. Has the, uh, this type of remote, which is intelligent key that you never really take out of your pocket. Also has a, a power tailgate, which I'll demonstrate now. You can open the power tailgate from the remote, from the switch and the tailgate handle, also from the switch on the inside. To close it up, you can do it the same way from the remote, from the uh, tailgate switch, or from the inside of the vehicle. Let's go ahead and get inside of it now and get it started, show you the interior options. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lock the car to show you how the intelligent key works. Put it in your pocket. And then when you approach the vehicle, it senses that the key is nearby and it opens the car for you. The door panels are light gray on the bottom with black on the top. Got, of course, uh, you got the wood trim panel here, paneling here, wood accents. All, uh, of course, we got power windows, power door locks, cruise control to a wheel. All the power windows are automatic, meaning one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. Um, got the uh, JBL synthesis stereo sound system. Power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. Before it's, um, I sit down, let me go ahead and pan over the seating area now so you can show you, show you the interior here. It's uh, solid on the outside with like little lines here in the center. This is from factory. This is not aftermarket. It's got the nice gray piping. Uh, the car has no car, um, the, the seats are in great shape, no cuts, no tears, no burn holes. Matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats, door panels, headliner, or carpeting. And there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner may have been a non smoker. Let's go ahead and get inside of it now, get it started for you, show you the interior options. Once you sit down inside, the vehicle senses that the key is nearby, and, is that, and, um, and all you got to do is step on the brake and then hit the push button start. You don't have to hold it, you just press it once and let it go. The car will start right up. The car has 45,053 miles. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer. I'm going to rev the engine. And the reason I'm doing that is just so you can see the car is running and idling perfectly and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag light, no service engine soon, no maintenance soon, nothing like that. Everything is working and running to perfection. The only light that you have flashing there is the seatbelt light because I'm not wearing my seatbelt to shoot a video. Got the uh, navigation screen here. Okay. If you put the vehicle in reverse, as I'll do now, you get your uh, color backup camera. Let's put it back in park. You got also heated seats on both sides, obviously. And you have different levels of comfort. You can slide this wheel up and down to put it as warm or as, uh, as hot as you want. Okay, we got a panoramic moonroof. Uh, with a manual cover. Now this this cover is a hard cover, blocks out the sun completely and uh, I can't reach it from here but when I get into the back that slides the same way as I just lit this one and reveals the panoramic area back there so the rear passengers can look out of it. Now the front portion uh, does open up, the rear portion is just for you to look out of and uh, the switch is right here and you don't have to hold the switch as you can see okay and to close it up same way Okay, we'll leave it open now so we can get a little bit of lighting here for the video. Okay, um, has a uh, curtain side airbags as well as seat side airbags. And I'm sitting on the seat. Well, actually, I can show you the one down here. 
So you got curtain side airbags and seat side airbags. Okay, you got the wood trimming also all around in the center console here and on all um, and all the door panels. Okay, um, got lots of storage here. These are the cup holders here. This uh, is like a vertical storage here or sideways storage. You can put your phone there or whatever you want to put on there. Um, this here, uh, it's, uh, this is, um, I don't know what the hell this is for. This is, I think it's just for storage or, for, oh, this is to, um, I think it's a place in your key here. Now this is just storage here. Sorry, that's just there's a funny little pocket there. I wasn't sure what it's for. Now, let's talk about what I do know what it's for. Okay, this uh, actually slides back. All right, and you get a nice deep storage down there. And then you get a little tab here that you can remove. And that reveals, let me switch hands here. Uh, that reveals a USB port and iPod port. So you can put your uh, play your iPod music right on the JBL um, synthesis uh, stereo sound system. Okay. All right. And uh, down below that, you got cigarette lighter adapter for your chargers. Nice deep pocket down there. And then when you slide this, um, has a release tab here. Slide this out of the way and it hides away that area. This also uh, has a, a deeper storage down in the bottom there. And a tray here that is removable if you want to clean it or whatever. Um, and then to close it, you close down here and then you lift this up to slide it back and forth. Okay, your main glove box is down here. Okay. Now we've got um, dual climate control. And what I mean by that is, for example, right now, I think I got them both at max, but I'm going to change it to, uh, you can see it up in the top here, actually. I'm going to change to, say, the passenger side to uh, 70 degrees. Well, I got the driver's side at maximum cold. And what that does is that just makes these two AC vents over here blow at 70 degrees while I got the driver's side at maximum. So that way you can have two different levels of comfort. Clearly, you can set it to whatever it is you want. On this display up here, also has the uh, current time and the um, exterior temperature and also average speed. Vehicle features an auto dimming rear view mirror that has a sensor here that senses bright light. If somebody puts the high beams on you, it will darken the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision. It also has a compass in the upper right hand corner that lets us know that we're pointing heading in the east direction. Up in the top here, we got a pocket for sunglasses and your universal garage door opener here. This is where you can program up to three garage doors or gates if you happen to live in a gated community. And you also got map lights on either side by just pushing them. Okay. Uh, you can also tilt the moonroof, not just necessarily um, open it. You can tilt it like that for venting and tilt it down. Got vanity mirrors here with lighting. When you slide the uh, door here, it turns on the light up in the top. All right. Uh, okay. You got also Bluetooth. Once you pair your phone, if your phone rings, you can ha you can pick it up up here and hang it up on this side here. Let's go ahead and turn on the stereo here. Let's put FM. Here. Let's find a station first. You can raise or lower the volume right here. Okay. And let's go ahead and mute it all the way down. Uh, now, um, you also have uh, these buttons here to navigate about your preset stations. Those are the ones that you set yourself, which of course can be changed. And you get a mode button. This takes you from right now, I believe we're on FM. Uh, took us to FM2. Press it again to satellite 1. Right now it says you can see some preview mode. If I press it again, satellite 2. And uh, satellite 3. It's got three satellite channels. And uh, CD player or CD changer, I should say. A Bluetooth audio. And back to AM and back to FM. So it has different, a bunch of different settings which you can change right here in the steering wheel or it can also be changed over here. Um, you can you know, have all the settings here to change. The auxiliary is your iPod mode here. Uh, again it's the uh, JBL synthesis is top of the line. You got your onboard computer here for your settings. Um, got a leather wrap steering wheel and I'll pan around the next and slow so you can see it's in perfect shape without any cuts, stairs or burn holes. In the meantime, let me remind you that we're located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. Open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturdays 9 to 5, and always close on Sundays. All right, let's go ahead and panel with the dashboard now. Um, here we go, a little 
thing stuck on there. Okay, um, dashboard, so you can see that there's no cracks, no cuts, no burn holes. It's not lifting up anywhere. Great shape. Car's really nice. Well, again, only 45,000 miles. All right. Oh, okay, um, got an automatic transmission. It has a manual shifting mode. Got the car in park right now. We're going to reverse. Neutral. And drive. And that's how you're going to drive 99% of the time. But if you want to make it shift manually, you can push it over, over to the left. And you'll see here a, di a diagram here for the shifting. If you uh, tap up, it'll shift up. If you tap down, it will shift down. So once you get it in there, you want to tap up, shift up, tap down, to shift down. I'll show you what that looks like on, the, on your dashboard display. Right now we're on drive. See, so Adina, I'm going to push the lever back over to the left. And you get the S, which is a manual shifting mode. So if I tap down, I'm downshifting. If I tap up, I upshift all the way up to 5, sorry, 6, as this is a 6-speed automatic transmission. Okay, if that doesn't interest you, just push the lever over to the right. And a 6-speed automatic transmission will do the shifting for you. Okay, let's put it back in park. Your cruise control is right down here. You got voice command. So if you press here, you can give it commands uh, to for, I guess, for your Bluetooth is mostly, and I think also for the navigation. All right, um, what else? Uh, okay, your power mirrors are on this side over here. Power tailgate here. You can disable the traction control here. Got a storage pocket here with coin slots. All the windows are automatic, meaning one touch. And what that means is you don't have to hold the switch for the window to go up. I'm sorry, for the window to go down or up. All right, um, I think we're done with the Frontier. Uh, if I miss something, and again, feel free to call me at 305-218-5462. While I'm here, let's go ahead and pan over the seating area here of the front seat. So you can see it's a uh, perfect shade, no cuts, no tears, no burn holes. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the moonroof open now. A little better lighting for the video. I should've probably done that earlier. Um, now to turn off the vehicle, all you gotta do is uh, press the stop button here and the car turns right off. Remember the keys never left my pocket, okay? So now let's move on to the uh, mid-row section. The door panels have a pocket here on the side that you can store magazines or correspondence here and you can also put bottles here. You don't want to put a soda there because it could spill at the bottom. It should stay right up. Um, this is a five passenger vehicle. Two in the front and three in the back and they all have an over the shoulder belt including the middle row passenger which uses this belt right here. The door panels are the same as in the front, black and gray with a wood trimming. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. I'll show you how that works. Push that little lever down here and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got little ones and you don't want to be able to open the door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to open the car is the outer handle. To re-engage for adult passengers or bigger kids, just to lift that little latch up and this handle start working. It starts working again. Um, got the uh, AC vent here in the back of the center uh, center console for the rear row passengers. And let's go ahead and open this up over here. And as you can see it reveals a large panoramic moonroof. I left the front open. Okay. You got uh, map lights here. You got also anchors for your baby car seat. There are two on each side. If you don't have a middle row passenger, I believe this pulls out into a uh, center console so you can rest your elbows there. And this reveals a cup holder and it's got the nice wood trimming here back here also. And we also got curtain set airbags here for the rear row passengers heads. Alright, I um, think we can move on to the back now. Got four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors, all the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not damaged or scuffed in any way, they're nice and clear. Got a rear wiper, rear window defroster on the rear glass. All the emblems of the chrome and the emblems in nice shape. It's not pitted or peeled or oxidated. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. Rear bumper has no damage whatsoever. Uh, let's go ahead and open the tailgate. When the car, if the car's unlocked, you can. Um, where's the switch here? Here it is. You can squeeze that little switch there. Oops, did I just lock it? I think I just locked it. It's on this side here. Hang on, let me unlock it because I think I locked it. It's got a, a little switch for locking and a little switch for opening. And I think I did the uh, locking one here. There we go. I think the tailgate is disabled. Hang on a minute. We'll come back here in just a second here. 
I think I got a tailgate disabled over here. All right, there we go. The tailgate was disabled. There's a switch on there that you can disable the tailgate from the switch over here. So let's try that one more time. Okay, hang on a second. Let me get my hand free here. Unlock it. And press here. I think it was enabled and I disabled it. All right, hold on a second here. All right, let's try that one last time. Let's make sure it's enabled right there. Okay, there it goes for closing. Sorry about that. It's just that, uh, all these uh, too many cars, all different ways to open it and close it. Let's go ahead and open the tailgate now. There it goes. Okay. I don't know if you can see that. Let me bring it down a little bit so you can see. You get the switch on the left, which is to open the tailgate. The switch on the right, that's the one that locks the car. So, because remember, you get the key in your pocket, okay? So you can lock the car. Now, you get also a uh, privacy cover that slides back here. And it goes into these little slots on the side here. And uh, that's in case you, uh, when you close the tailgate, that way you can't see your valuables in there, okay? You got another hard cover down here, and below this, there's storage and your spare tire. Okay, um, let's go ahead and open, put this back. By the way, this piece is retractable, and those seats can be flipped down forward. I don't know if you can tell. This is what we call a 60-40 seat, 60% on that side, 40% on that side. And they have a latch on the side where you can lay them down flat in case you want it to go into full cargo mode. And um, actually, you can release them from here. You pull up on this handle here, and the seat will go forward. It didn't go all the way forward because it got stuck on the seat belt there. But let me just show you how it works. And it lays down completely flat. Okay, and then you can do, as you can see, I just did the one side only. All right, and uh, I left this side up. So in case you let's say you have to put something large on this side here, you can still use the seating capacity on this side or vice versa. You can do either side because you got a, another handle here for that side there. To bring it back up, you have to do it manually. Uh, it's not power. It just releases. Let's grab the seat belt here so we don't trap it there. And there you go. All right. Um, okay. Uh, and you also got cigarette lighter adapters over here. And you got little lights on the side here, okay? All right, let's close the tailgate by pressing up here. Right rear tail light, perfect shape. You got like a tail light that goes in the quarter panel, one that goes in the tailgate, and they're both in good shape. Same thing on the other side here. Got your uh, satellite antenna up in the top here. All the wheels are in great shape, no curb rash, no dent, no scuffs, no oxidation. The tires are, as you can see, they're all in great shape. They're not new, but they're nearly new. Right rear door panel. Two-tone, same way. I'm sure by now you've noticed that the panels have no cuts, no tears, no burn holes. Um, none of the speaker covers the damage. You got also bottle holders here on the rear door panels. And as I was saying before, you get anchors in your rear seat also. All right, um, let's move on to the passenger front. Same way, charcoal, uh, or not charcoal, this is black, and the light gray down here. Not only do we have a uh, power seat, power reclining, and lumbar support on the driver's side, but we also got it on the passenger side as well. And it's solid on the sides, and you get that nice little design from factory. This is all factory leather. And you got another cigarette light adapter over there, and a pocket for storage here on the side. All right, um, let's talk about financing for just a minute. If you require financing, let me tell you, we have excellent rates for good credit. We also have special financing for not such good credit. We even have some programs for really rough credit. If you want us to get you pre-approved before you come over, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net. Around the homepage, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit. Click it, fill it out completely. Click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.